everyone welcome back of course i hope you're already in for some new diy inspiration if you're new here and you see me for the first time welcome my name is yanni and i'm doing this all about christmas channel i keep it short on this channel you will find seasonal diys and daily decor diys so enough to see do you want to see even more diys come on over to my description box there you find all the links for our diy channels so go check it out and if you like this content of course i hope you will subscribe to my channel because subscribing doesn't cost you anything and give me a thumbs up enough talking for today i'm going to take out my thumb metal blocks again of course i hope you join me and if you're only here for watching I of course have fun watching for this new diy we need of course our thumb metal blocks you can use the bigger one and you can use the smaller one but uh, your diy will be a little bit small if you use the little ones of course and you can also uh, go up with the numbers of your um, blocks I need a couple of this little rounds. It is for me it's wooden round, but you also can um, use some cardboard. But I have a little wooden rounds, some wood glue, a brush, uh, some um, glue sticks, some furniture wax, uh, some paint at your choice, and of course your glue gun. So this is the main pieces we need for this DIY. And of course later, before I forget it, I didn't put it on my table. Is two beads for on top of our little. Uh, yeah baskets uh you will see in a moment what we're going to try to make i never made one is some sewing baskets so and a little bit in the old-fashioned way so we will see how this will turn out for the bottom of our uh sewing baskets we are going to make uh, a block of six five uh, six you see just six uh, blocks and i'm going to glue them with some wood glue because i want to make sure that my bottom is at least really steady so i'm going to do it with some wood glue but if you have um different kind of glue is also fine and you can do it of course also with your glue gun so this is one and this is a number two and i try to make the lines as thin as i can because uh, the uh, yeah maybe the little bit of the bad thing about wood glue is that it can give some stains on your uh, blocks if everything is coming out um, at least on my blocks and then you have to sand it and this way we are going to glue them together just make a row of six squeeze them and make them in a straight line and make sure that you don't have crumbs or something else in between. Make a nice line and make four rows of four, uh, six blocks. <laughs> I have my four pieces of my bottom, but I'm still missing because in between I will do two blocks, but I do it in the le length of the block. So I'm going a little bit on the top, some wood glue, and again, I'm going to place it together this way and also let it dry in for a couple of minutes. And then I'm going to glue everything together from the bottom. Here are our four pieces and what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my wood glue again, place this one on the side and do some wood glue, a small line over my blocks on this side. And I'm going to do this also on this side. Just do a small line of wood glue and this way and just place it down and we're going to glue it together. And this way, and we're going to place this one also on here. So we already have the first part of our bottom. Now we're going to do this side. We go again, some wood glue or any glue you have. And this, and we're going to do for this one. And a small line again. And we're going to place them down. And squeeze them against the middle piece and this way and we try to get it as even and you see already the middle blocks are always a tiny bit smaller but we have to work with that because uh, three of this one is almost one but not as it is really mi millimeter uh, work so but 
we are going to work with this. So we already have our bottom and this is what we're going to let dry for at least one and a half hour. We have to take our time for it. So I don't know if you want to wait with me. I don't think you will. I don't think you will, so I will lay this apart and we are going to go further with the tops of our sewing basket. Now our bottom is drying, we are going to make the first side of our um, sewing basket and I call it this basket. Of course here in the Netherlands we call it nigh mount, so it's a little bit uh, different than sewing basket and of course it isn't a basket, but this we have them in uh, different varieties. You have them really from some wicker and some rotan, but here uh, also we have um, an and sewing baskets, these are made from two pieces of uh, wood. So we will see how this will turn out. I hope it will turn out <laughs> nice. I'm going to get my glue gun for this one and I'm going to make first five blocks of, of uh, one block of five. And this will be in number two. And this will be number four and the last number five this is already one side of course i need two other sides so i'm going to make not one but of course two of five and this is the first and everyone who doesn't want to see it of course this is a step-by-step -step diy but I understand if you don't want to see the whole uh, piece, then maybe you can, if you don't like it, skip forward. Of course, I hope you don't and you just enjoy watching. Or maybe you are joining me. That would be even much greater. Let me know in the comments down below if you uh, are joining me in my DIYs. That would be great. So we have two of five. Now we're going to go for one of six. And uh, like this, this is already two. This will be, and you don't uh, have to use a lot of glue for this one. And I try to get the lines as thin as I can, but most of the time I use a little bit too much uh, glue. So I'm going to try to do it a little less. And this will be number five and i press also the blocks down to make sure that my blocks are straight and this will be a number six and we have of course two of six and don't worry the second basket i won't do together i will do it a little bit faster so don't worry i will do it a second time <laughs> a second time again so and this is three and this will be number four and number five and then the last we will do a number six and then we have already the size of our sewing baskets for at least for the first part so now i'm going to go and i'm going to get my uh, glue for my of course my wood glue and i'm going to look at the side if there's not some glue coming out because we don't want that it doesn't um, glue very nicely together so this one and this one is also very clean we are going to take one of six and we are going to one of five like this and we're going to do one of six and one of five inside here and if everything is correctly he is fitting on top of my uh, bottom like this so i'm going to get my wood glue and i'm going to glue this together so this one is very easy to glue together you just take the pieces with the five you just do some glue on each side on this side a small line and on this side a small line and place it over here and then we can glue everything in one piece together and one line over here and place it also here and now we are going to get it inside and we're going to do this one inside and then we 
close it up with this one. And now we have to make sure that we have everything in a straight line. And just feel with your fingers. That's the best way to feel if you are correctly in a nice square or not. Because wood glue, like I said, you can still uh, change it up a little. And I have my square and now I'm going to let this one also dry also. And I'm going to make my second in the moment. So the first basket is glued together. And I'm going to make now again two pieces of six and two pieces of five to make our second one. I have my four pieces again and we are going to do the same like we did with the uh, other ba basket. Just do some glue on both of the sides from the five blocks. And of course on this side. Over here and on this side. And we are going to place them inside again just like we did with the first. I'm going to place it and this one just work a little bit with it and we're going to close it up with the other one very easy and just take your time to feel where is this fitting right this way and i let this also again dry for one and a half hour our bottom and our crates are drying for each side one to uh, place your sewing uh, tools inside and what we're going to do we need a lid of course on top so I'm going to make a row of six and this way you see already this box is a little bit bigger. I'm going to number three and number four and number five. And the last will be number six. And this way. And we already have now our first piece of our lid. We are going to make a second one of six. And I try to do it as fast as I can. So you don't have to wait too long for me. This is already three. A number four and number five and the last again number six and then we already have the first lid of our box and we are going to get some wood glue of course and I'm going to give it a small line of wood glue. I have first I'm going to look if everything is fitting correctly yes it does so now I'm going to do a thin line, at least I'm going to try a thin line on because I sometimes have a hard time to get a thin line. So place it together and let this dry again. two pieces of my lid of my boxes are drying what I'm going to do I'm going to glue two blocks together I was thinking to of doing a bead on top of here uh, of the lid for to get it off but I'm not going to do it I thought maybe it also is nice to do a block on top of here and just squeeze it and let this one also dry and we're going to do some glue in the middle of this block and we are going to squeeze it and press it down and let this dry also. And we are going to glue it on top of here in a moment when everything is dried up. Now I'm going to do some glue on one side of my blocks. And I do it on the double block. You see where the line is in between. On this side I'm going to glue it this way. And I'm going to try to get it in the middle on the line of this one. And I hope I have it in a straight line this way. And I'm just going to squeeze it and press it down. And I'm going to do with the other one the same. Just in the middle, a little glue. And I'm going to place it again, of course, in the middle. And let it fall down. I look the other side. 
and this is how he's looking right now and i'm going to let this dry also again to make sure that it has the steadiness we need and then we're going to place our boxes on top of our bottom here we are this is our bottom and we are going to take one of the basket in a moment but first i'm going to get my wood glue and i'm going to go make a square with my glue this side this side this side and this side and then i'm going to place one box on here then i'm going to do two loose blocks over here right up and then we are going to glue it the next box over here so it's very easy i hope you when i do it you uh, know exactly what i mean because my english is not always the greatest so i'm going to go with my glue over here and i'm just going to make my lines Oh, I have to do some glue on top of it or else he wouldn't glue. No, in no way. <laughs> he will glue. So I'm going to do this one. And of course, I need not too much glue, but also not too little, of course. And I'm going to place this first container. And I do the line of this one on the line of this one. So make sure that you use the lines. And feel with your fingers which is the right line. Of course, I have to go a little inside this way. And you also can take a loose block and look that he is still fitting inside. If he does, then you are at the right place like this. So you see, now for me he is... On the right spot so I'm going to take my loose block I'm going to do some glue on the underside on this side and on this side and I'm going to place it against the box and in the middle of this middle line because this is the way that we separated the two boxes so one on here and one on here and again, place it against each other in one straight line. And just let it suck in for a little moment. I have to remove this glue. And again, let it suck in also. I have to make sure that I have it in a steady line. And that's, like I said earlier, it's always great that you can still remove a little of your blocks. So, now we are going to do the second line, and this is of course for our second block. And I'm going to do some glue on the ending, and on this ending, and on here. And you see already, sometimes my glue is not coming out the right way. And I'm doing some glue on the sides over here, and on this side. Because he is also coming, closing up this side. I say a lot of sides. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it is almost all sides. So <laughs> I have to say sides because it is our sides. So, and now we are going to close everything up. Squeeze it and press it down. And now we are going to really at least a one and a half hour dry time because uh, we have to be sure that this base is sturdy. We let the base dry and what are we going to need for the middle piece because you saw he was open. We need a two blocker like this. Just do some glue on the top and just glue it together and wait a couple of minutes. You see where he needs really to suck the glue in. Now we are going to make for the middle handle again a block in the this way but we are going to double it up again just like we did with the lid and this is one and we are going to make a second one again place it on this side and let it dry but make sure that you have it in a straight line because 
when it is not uh, dried uh, inward, then you already have the chance that it goes um, not in the straight line. So I'm going to make four of these pieces. I think maybe even six. And this is already number three. This is number four. And I make two extra because I think I will use them, but when they have a little much time to dry, then I have, I love to have two extra because if I want to make the handle a little longer or maybe if I would decorate it. So again, this way. And now only need one. And this will be this one, the last. And these are the six double blocks and the one loose block of two. Now these uh, four are dried up. What I'm going to do, I'm going to glue two of them for the handle together. This is one. And I'm going to do some glue in the middle of this one. And squeeze them really tightly together this way and keep them in place for a couple of minutes this way and then we can in a moment we can do them over here and glue them on top of each other so these two of uh, pieces of the handle are already a little bit dried in now okay, i'm going to take the loss the loose the loss <laughs> It's at least in the net we call it lo the losse, but of course you call it loose. I'm doing some glue on this side and a little dot on this side. And I'm going to place it very easily just to each other to make in a straight line this way. And just keep it in place and let this dry also and then we already have our handle and it will be a very sturdy handle because we do it with some wood glue and before we go further with this DIY I have to tell you that this video is also part of a beautiful get together which is called farmhouse decor DIYs this is hosted by three beautiful ladies which are Amanda from six kids and a glue gun Brenda from rustic lace DIY and of course don't forget Chantel from crafty hints of course I will place a link down below with all the three beautiful ladies that channel so go check it out you won't be sorry and of course I will place a link down below with the playlist with tons and tons of beautiful inspiration for you to find so go check it out and for now let's go further with our DIYs our base is almost dried up what we're going to do we're going to take our handle and we are going to place it on top of here and you see I leave this uh, piece open this one because I thought I can close it up with two simple blocks so if you do two blocks together like this then you can easily close it up and then you have a nice um, a closed um, fe feeling like this because you do the lid on top of here and you do this two over here then you get a very closed um, sewing basket sorry I sometimes I don't come on the words <laughs> I want to tell it to you too fast like this but I thought maybe it's also a little fun to change it up for the season and do some seasonal uh, green inside of here so I'm going to leave it open so I'm going to do some glue on this side and on this side and of course I will use wood glue because I must be sure that it doesn't fall off because it is at only one block where it's uh, stuck to so I really need to make sure that it's glues really well together so and I hope that it does and I'm going to place it on top of here this way and make sure that I have it in the right spot on here and I remove of course the glue I take my brush and I the glue which is coming out I'm just going to wipe away with my brush and this way and to give it some steadiness I place the lids on top of here so it gives a little more structure to the base so when it is drying right now 
like this and you see already how he's uh, turning out and if you imagine we can do some greenery inside of here we let this one uh, dry we are going to make some two of our spools before we're going to do everything in some furniture wax i'm going to place it over here i'm going to take the two blocks which we uh, are left over and this is just two blocks glued together i have my little round of wood and I'm going to glue one over here and I'm going to glue one over here to make a nice simple spool. So again, I'm doing some glue on this side and I'm going to place it in the middle this way. And I have to look that I have it in the, oh, in the middle, he's still moving around and I let this dry and I'm going to take the second one. Because we make two spools for each uh, little basket one. And again, place it in the middle. And I let it dry. And then I'm going to glue the second one on top. So the underside is almost dried up. So I'm going to do some glue in the middle of this one. And of this one. And it's so easy to make. You can make your own spools and just do some, uh, any color thread on top of it, which you like. And again, we're going to place this one in the middle again and let this dry also. Our little spools are finished. What I'm going to do, because I find the tops a little too boring, I always have a bag with a little uh, buttons on top of here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to glue one on here and I'm going to glue one on the other side. So it's very easy and I'm going to do them in some furniture wax, but you also can uh, give them another color. So if you like another color better, it's also fine too. So, but do that before you glue it on top of here. My little spools are drying and you see this is how they are looking like and they still need to dry in because wood glue it needs a little time so take your time also for it and then we're going to do it in some furniture wax and like I said if you want to paint it go ahead paint the color you like uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to take uh, I did take off the lids and I also have uh, from wood this little uh, spools they also come on a, a package I can order online on AliExpress. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place them on top of here. So I'm going to do some glue at the ending this way. And I'm going to place it in the middle because I think it needs a little bit more finishing touch this way. So I'm going to do this one over here. And I'm going to do the second one, of course, on the other one. Because we need the same over here and again squeeze it a little and of course in a moment we're going to let it dry but I also have buttons in different sizes you just saw me using the medium size but I also have the large sizes so I'm going to place uh, a couple over here and I think the bigger ones over here to give it the feeling that it is really a sewing basket and I have the really little ones over here and this one over here and I'm going to maybe a one here and maybe one here so we get a nice display of our maybe this over here I don't know this way just play a little bit with it and then I'm going to glue them on top of here before we go to do everything in the wax. And also with this one, if you like to give it a color of paint, please go ahead do whatever you think is right. It makes your piece unique. So go ahead and paint it. I'm going to do everything in the furniture wax so even you can see it better how everything is made. And I love the farmhouse rustic style, but that's not everyone's cup of tea. So I'm going to glue everything on top of here. So we made, of course, our sewing basket. We made two spools uh, already. And now I'm going to make a, um, uh, a ruler. But of course, with my own fantasy, it's not a real ruler. It's just a simple one, just to uh, decorative uh, um, uh, ways for decorative. Um, how do you say that? For purpose. I'm sorry, I have it. <laughs> for decorative purpose. So you don't use it. So we make 
three of this one together like this and we make another one of three and this is and the last one and we are going to put uh, them first in some furniture wax and then i'm going to go with some black uh, marker i make some lines and i make some uh, numbers on here and of course the word if i can make it ruler over here so it's a very simple ruler but it is for decorative purposes so don't mind about that so i'm really happy to make everything from tom the tile block so if everything is dried up we are going to put everything together in the furniture wax and here you see our sewing basket of course i have to do it this way maybe you can see it a little bit better like this and the opening and like i said you can you don't have to do it i'm going to do some greenery some seasonal greenery so i'm going to take this off and i'm going to do everything in the furniture wax and i use a very simple brand just an antique wax from uh, a brand which is over here but you can find it anywhere it's very cheap so don't buy too uh, expensive um, items so i'm going to do everything in the wax and here you see our uh, sewing um, basket great uh, box just how you call it it doesn't matter and i'm so happy how he turned out and like i said earlier if you don't like the opening for decoration of course close it up with two blocks uh, i'm going to make the ruler and i'm going to make the spools with some uh, twine or maybe some wool around it i think i'm going for the black wool because i love a little bit of the furry uh, look so that's what I'm going to do and then we are almost uh, ready to show you how everything is turned out. You see for my spools I took a little bit of this kind of um, thread but it is more like a furry one. So what I'm going to do I'm doing to a little glue on here in the middle. I'm laying my uh, thread in between or wool just how you call it. Let it dry. And then we're just going to go over from one side to the other side, like this. And make it try at least as even as you can. So the spool looks the same. And I'm going to cut it off and I'm going to glue it. But of course, I did forgot my scissors. So in a moment, I will cut it off and glue it together. Yes, I found my scissors. <laughs> so I can cut it off. And like this and i'm going to do a little glue in between the wool and i'm going to place my ending inside and let it uh, dry up for a little moment like this and remove the wires of your glue of course and you see now you have a nice little spool for your sewing uh sewing <laughs> for your crate <laughs> I'm going to do the next one. So I have my two blocks with of my three blocker from two pieces and I have my real ruler and I'm going to make some little lines. I'm just going to place it on here and I'm going to with my black marker, I'm just going to make some uh, pieces. This is one. This is number two, three, four, five, and go on and go on. And then I place the numbers also with it. So it looks a little bit more like a ruler. So my fantasy ruler is finished. I did with some uh, centimeters and some inches, but of course it's not really the centimeters and the inches. This is just <laughs> for decoration. So I am really happy how the, both of them turned out. And of course our two little spools. What we're going to do right now, I'm going to decorate a little bit with a couple of greenery and some flowers the inside of uh, our sewing uh, basket and you see in a moment the end reveal and here you see finally a quick impression of our sewing basket from Tomlin Tower Blocks I am so happy with the result and I hope you also give it a try but maybe you already joined me and did this DIY together with me and you also have your own sewing basket right now so this was it already 
for today's DIY inspiration. Do you want to see more DIYs? Come on over to my description box. There you find the link for this channel and of course our main channel Deco Easy with lots and lots of atomic tile blocks, DIY inspiration and, and lots more. So go check it out. And for now, for everyone who is not subscribed to my channel, of course, I hope you will click the red subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. So enough talking. Have an amazing day. See you next time. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.